Right, in this short video, I'm going to scan, use a scan tool on my car for the first time. This is the Ford Focus 1.5 turbo diesel uh, TGCI 120 brake horsepower 2015 model. Now, I've got two scan tools. One is the very affordable, I think you can get these probably about a decent one, about 50, 60 pounds. I can't remember what make, oh, Atron, these are really good. Which is sometimes, you know, they just give you just port code if you want. And not the affordable ones. And this one, so I've heard one uh, has, this is a DS, this is the Autel DS, Maxi Das DS 708 Pro. And I think they don't do updates for this anymore. I'm not sure. So that's what somebody says, claims. Uh, but I want to do an update on this soon because I ran out on updates on this the end of 2014. That was the last date and this car's a 2015 so it's interesting to see for me if this will work on this. Alright, so I'm going to cut it so real short, I'll just say yes it works, no it don't work. Or whatever, yeah. Alright, so let me just start up, plug the first one in. Not forgetting, I forgot to mention the location OBD2 is here. I found out he's got some crap in there. So, like the old previous owner was an insulin guy, took insulin injections to so squeeze them. Oh, I fucking knew it. Stupid drill bit came out. Put that up. all that knocking around. Keep that there. Right, so there is. Is it? Right, so real quick, it would be a case of uh, plug it in before I start the engine, is what I mean. Alright, right, with the Actron, as soon as I plugged in without the engine on, it basically uh, powered it up, which is great. And then it went through, switch the engine on, switch the engine off, da da da. And um, I'm holding it steady, I've got the camera, but I cut. So, okay, okay, okay. Got all these sensors, it was before in other cars I tried this on it. It just never said there was any sensors. Well, some of them were just non applicable. Right, second one. And uh, I do stress that if there's a chance of copying down the fuel injector numbers, do so if you get first opportunity. Well, the short answer is no, it did not recognize it. I ran through uh, automated check and uh, it came out with don't recognize it then I ran through the manual list uh, went through Ford Focus and 1.4 was there 1.6 there. this is 1.5 so the data is not in there all right so there you have it sometimes it's good to have a cheapo one you don't have to do updates and you can do you know the checkings just as well so make sure you have both well have both if you can definitely have the cheaper one if you can those more affordable let's say they're not cheap but more affordable all right thanks for watching and remember the data port is right here on the on next to the uh, steering wheel on the driver's side and it drops down like so all right thanks for watching please hit the like and subscribe button if you're not really a subscriber and um, any comments just uh, make them below and i'll try and uh, reply but especially if it's sensible thanks for watching